hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um i hope you're all staying safe in the current climate climate i'm sure uh, we will all come out of this situation or this world situation all the better for it in the mighty name of jesus it's not gonna be long now we will all come go back to our usual or even better way of life this time around when this whole crisis is all over in the meantime i trust you're all staying safe and staying at home well this is Olua Kemi Sege again and welcome back to my youtube channel today's day is the 22nd of april 2020 and it is just um 26 minutes past 7 pm and i am about to just make a snack for the family i have always wanted to make a i've never been able to get it right i've tried once i've tried a second time I couldn't upload, I didn't upload the video because it was a, another kind of not so good um, attempt. So I'm going to try again and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm and we're going to be hoping that the third time is the charm. And the daughter just reminded me of that. Now she's right here <laughs> and her name is Chloe anyway. Come on, show your face, Chloe. And uh, so she's right here. So we're going to be doing, she's going to be assisting me whatever it is she can assist me with here today. And we're going to be doing, uh, making our own puff puff, Nigerian snack. Puff puff. Anyway, to do that, I've got my ingredients all laid out here. I've got my, I'm going to be using self raising flour for my puff puff. I've got uh, my self raising flour. I've got my ground nutmeg. I've got, um, of course, salt. I've got uh, my Allison's Easy Bake Yeast. I'm sure it's, I hope it's the right one. I'm not sure if it is, but I hope it's the right one. I've got um, sugar I've got in here. And I've also got Needle Powdered Milk. Powdered Milk, yes, the Needle brand. And obviously, I've got my measuring spoons, my measuring cups, and my measuring scale. And measuring bowl to start with I am going to measure out my flour I'm going to put this in my camera so you can see I'm going to measure out my flour and I'll be measuring out 370 grams of flour to bake my um, to, I mean for my puff puff 370 grams of flour into that so i'm going to pour that in here in my mixing bowl see through mixing bowl and um i've measured, measured out my flour which i poured into this um bowl and i've got in here one and a half cup of warm water i'm going to use this to proof my yeast to start with i'm going to use one cup of that warm water One cup of that warm water in there. The remainder cup, that is the half a cup, I'm going to set it aside to use later on in the process. And in that half a cup of water, I'm sorry, in that one cup of water, I'm going to be adding um, one tablespoon of my Alice's baked yeast. And I will be setting that aside for five minutes. I hope it works. I don't know whether it doesn't work, but I hope it works. Am I supposed to cover it? I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to, whichever way anyway, I will do it. Why is this sticking to my spoon? <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking to my spoon. Anyway, am I not supposed, I think I'm supposed to make it um, smooth. Because I can see lumps here. I'm going to cover this and leave it aside to set aside for five minutes. So that is going to be about six minutes or seven minutes, uh, 7.37 on the dot. That's when I'm going to now take it to use it. So that's my 
yeast set aside a bit well. I'm going to continue with the rest of my um, ingredients and that's um, uh, that's my sugar. I'm using 150 grams of um, sugar in this, pouring it in there. In here I've got 20 grams of powdered milk, that's needle. That's a quarter of a cup of um, powdered milk, that's 20 grams. Again, pour it in there. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. And I will be adding to that uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground. That's a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. That's how my ground and um, how my ground. I mean, sorry, my dry ingredients all together. I'm going to use this my hand whisk to just mix everything together, ready for when my yeast is properly cooked or whatever it is called. Right? I'm hoping and I'm praying that everything turns out. Perfect. <laughs> right. It's been five minutes now, and I brought out my proofed or whatever yeast and warm water, and I'm going to now pour that into my mixture of dried ingredients and uh, try to do the uh, knead or mix like that, like so, and hope. Everything comes together as it's supposed to. I, as you recall, I see have half a cup of warm water sitting somewhere. I'm going to be adding that to this uh, mixture shortly. Mm. Uh, I'm going to add in that to this mixture. And then I'm going to be doing that until everything is all smooth and properly incorporated together. And I hope I'm doing that right. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm doing it right, but I'm hoping I am actually hoping that I'm doing it right. And the powder many in there. Uh, really of course, mix. And smooth incorporate together and to smooth my hand is hot. <laughs> my hand is hot. <laughs> right. So once everything is properly incorporated and smooth, I'm going to cover this with either clean film, clean film or a clean kitchen towel. And put it in a warm place for about 45 to 1 hour. In my case, I'm going to put it in my turned off, turned off microwave. So I'm going to put it in my microwave while my microwave is turned off. So you see that it's kind of uh, soft, sticky. Right. So um, I believe this is supposed to be the right consistency. If it's not the right consistency, well, we find out when we start to fry. Or when it's supposed to double and it's not doubled. Anyway, I'm going to now put this in my cover this with clean film and put it in my wet microwave. Allow it to double. It's supposed to double within that period of time. Whilst it's um in the microwave or in the warm place. <sighs> so I'm going to now cover this in clean film. I'm going to place mine in the microwave as my warm place in this house. My turned off microwave. And uh, this is going to sit in for about 45 to 1 hour. 45 minutes to 1 hour. And we'll, I will come back to you when that time is up. That should be, say, about uh, half past um, 8. Hello, welcome back. Um, it is 9.45. 
At least two hours since um, when we put our puff, puff mixture away because all it was half past eight and went back to check it and it's I don't it, there was not much difference so I put it back again I removed it from the microwave and then put it uh, covered with duvet and still not much difference I don't know why whether it's right I'm not sure why my puff puff or puff puff mixture did not double it's not supposed to double doesn't look as if it's doubled but I'm not sure if well I don't know I'll see <laughs> how it goes anyway that is it so I'm gonna fry it try and fry it now you got some oil in the fry and I've put some pan some oil in the pan um oh, although it's not soft it's like a elastic yeah so we'll see how it goes when it fries. I hope we get it right this time around. Third time, the third time is the charm, according to my daughter. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's see. Right, I've got my fry pan with oil in there. And then you can see my pop off mixture. It's all elastic. Right. Stuff. <laughs> I hope it. So I'm now going to start frying. I'm going to start frying as best as we can. It's elastic. Oh, the last one wasn't as elastic as this. The last one was very, very soft. Maybe this one will be better. Maybe this one. It's supposed to fly back up once it goes in. Oh, it didn't. Give me fork. Or maybe my what my oil is not hot enough. I think my pop off is better this time around. It's working. It's looking better. Way better. It doesn't. It should. It should fly back up, not sink in. The shape is a lot better. It's more round up. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's coming back up. Hey, hey. Third time. The best time. Well, the turn time round. Third time round is the charm. Whoops, 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 whoops. Clap for mommy. Well, the beef, my previous pop up didn't puff. It was more or less like a carrot. And this one is then It's better, so. This is an improvement from the previous time, so I'm excited about that. You can see it's puffy, although I'm still not perfect in respect of how it is shaped out to put in. Right? It's puffing. It's puffing up and coming back up. My pop pop is puffing up. Uh, Maybe that one at the end. Uh, it needs to be turned. Uh, wow, that's getting done. I'm not fast because I'm still in the learning stage. So I'm not fast. At least it's round, it's not flat like a car, like yeah. the last time that um, we did, mm -hmm. it was it a lot pop better. up, so this one is a lot Why better, not so it's an improvement on the previous, it's an improvement, serious improvement on the previous, which I'm excited about, viewers, uh -huh. you should be excited for me as well. So I think one of them is almost done. I'm going to take it out. Uh, Show the camera. Bring it. Beauty. Oh, you can't even see it well. It's looking amazing, wow. 
I'm not a lefty, but um, because my hand is already soiled with this, so that's why I'm having to use my left hand. Not comfortable for me at all, but. Um, Uh, in the distance. All right. Looking good. Mm. The shape is very, very nice. It's even better than some shapes I've seen in parties. Yeah. Like the ones that. Bending. This is good. Hello, yes, that is the end. That is my pop puff completed. My third attempt pop puff doesn't look like amazing. I'm so proud because the first time it was a disaster, the second time round it wasn't a success either. Then now the third is the third time. I hear you, it's all rounded, it's not like Akara, it's the other ones just sunk into the oil. And it was more or less like a car. But this is not like a car. And look at. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And it tastes yummy. Look at that. Even if I can see. Look at that. I'm so proud of my puff puff. I'm so proud of it. See? Oh, yummy. Mm. Thank you for watching. If you love my video, if you're proud of me, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comment on how I could have done better, I would love to improve. Please let me know. Leave your comment on how I can get better with it. I want to get better, but at, at least at this stage, I am very, very happy how far I have come. I'm very happy because it actually came rounded and puffy. Tastes like puff puff. Looks like puff puff. I'm excited about that. Thank you for watching and please stay safe, stay blessed and stay at home. God bless you. Please leave your comments and leave your feedback. And, if you, and also like, share and subscribe. I'll be grateful for that. Mm. Thank you for your time. I will leave a picture of this um, amazing delish I've just created. Thank you. Bye. God bless you. Take care.